It's a big afternoon for Norwich City here at the Den, and we're going to bring you team news as it drops in a moment's time or so. Connor Southall joined by Paddy Davitt at a, a bitterly cold den, it has to be said. We've got, uh, just as we look over to the stand opposite, Canary Wharf uh, and, and all of the various skyscrapers uh, dominating the skyline. And uh, for Norwich City, they'll be hoping they can uh, dominate this game and record what would be a crucial three points in their bid for the top six. A win that would, that would uh, if they could beat Millwall here today, certainly elevate them back into the top six for the first time in 2023. Fantastic. Um, unlucky not to score, but um, just always popping up in positions, loads of space all the time. Um, I thought he gave Bill's defenders a real hard time. Um, I think Sorensen was impressive as well. Um, not so much at the start, I think he kind of needed to feel his way in, but obviously it's been a long time since he's had a lot of minutes. What a game! Can't believe it. First half, I wasn't sure what was happening. Uh, I thought Millwall were the better team. We could, didn't seem to be able to get control of the game. And then uh, at last, our free kicks, uh, our set pieces seem to come to their own, score a goal, get equal. And I thought suddenly second half, the same 11 players just changed the game. We looked more creative, the movement was better, there was more energy there and just some superb individual performances. I thought Hanley was immense at centre-back. Aaron's and, and Janoon is great as well. Sarah in the, in the midfield is just an absolutely top draw player. Brilliant game, held on at the end, but a battle, a struggle. Uh, but Norwich did more than enough to get over the line. Uh, my voice tells you all you need to know. Brilliant game. What a victory. I mean, it feels like a real statement win. Uh, obviously, going to that game with that record against sort of, you know, the top 10 in the league, sort of often struggled. And, you know, to, to see out the game 3 2, obviously, after they pulled one back sort of late on uh, in the 83rd minute, in that sort of raucous atmosphere with the home fans really pressing for, for them to get a winner, it just feels like a real statement victory. And I think it says a lot about this team psychologically. And you can see what it meant to the players, the fans, the 3,000 in that away end afterwards. Um, you know, such a big win. And hopefully, that's well, it's now five, five unbeaten, four of which are wins. Um, it feels like a real turning point for us to hopefully kick on and really really sort of solidify our status in the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the energy which they gave us uh, were important today, was important today. And I think um, you've seen that we've taken this energy and um, used it on the pitch as well. I think I said this before, if we like to push for the playoffs and for promotion, we only can do it together. And I think wins like in the past, uh, a moment like today, uh, this only can gel together and now I think the players deserved every credit and every support for uh, the next home game on Sunday against Sunderland, uh, a very important game for us. This should be uh, the loudest carrow road since ages uh, before the kickoff. The atmosphere should be electric because it's very, very important that we create something where we can have the chance to be successful and win on Sunday again. Um. And then we had probably had a 15, 20 minute spell where Norwich started to use that confidence, started to you know, pin us back in with, with their possession and 
we had a tough probably 15 minutes before half time. And second half, I thought we came out really competitive again. And, and uh, what you don't want to do is, is give a goal away um, at that moment, at that point. And, and um, again, it's a quick corner. Uh, we just run off us where we have a chance really just to, is literally just got to stay with a player and not let him not let him get in. So run off us, put the ball in the box and it hits Bradders on the shin and goes in. Um, so again, to be 2-1 down at that point, I think it's hugely, hugely disappointing, you know, because I thought we'd worked incredibly hard to, to, uh, to, to be in the game.